Welcome to this short video on Corridor Spreadsheet Editor. Corridor Spreadsheet Editor is a new tool we've added in the 2019 release of our Kobe Civil Tools. This tool allows you to edit your corridor in like an Excel spreadsheet. To demonstrate this, I'm going to come up here to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon. I'm going to select Corridor Spreadsheet Editor. Then I'm going to select on a corridor. In here, you can see we've got our baselines, we've got our regions. I can change the assemblies, I can change the stations, just like you can do in Civil 3D. But I'm going to go into the targets here. And in here, I can quickly make some changes. So for instance, if I want to change the width target, I can come in and select any alignment in here that I want. Or if you wanted to pick something on screen, you just come over here and click on the select button. You can select a polyline or a feature line on screen. The idea here is it's very quick and easy. So if you have a lot of surfaces or a lot of alignments in your model, sometimes you're sitting there waiting for Civil 3D to generate it. Well, we load all of them in here, so it's very quick and easy to do. The other benefit of this is I can save out a spreadsheet and I can use it on another job. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. So I just come up here and I can go up and I'll just say, hey, let's save this. I'm gonna save this onto my desktop and I'm gonna call this one uh, Corridor uh, Test. And I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna exit out of this. Now I'm gonna come into a brand new drawing. This drawing here, I've got a surface, I've got alignments in here and I've got a profile, but I have no corridor. I do have some sub-assemblies in here. So now I'm going to go to Corridor Spreadsheet Editor. I don't have a corridor to select, so I just press Enter. Comes up blank. So now I'm going to go open up this file. So I'm going to grab this corridor test. Um, it's asked me if I want to replace all the alignments and the sub-assemblies that were in the old file. And I'll go yes. So now if I just quickly go over here to Surfaces, you'll see I've got a surface and my alignments. These are the alignments I currently have in my model. So I'm going to create a corridor. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it down. I'm going to change my alignment here to this one, and I'll change the profile. Then I'm going to change this subassembly because this one doesn't exist in my drawing. And I'm going to change the number here to two, so my next region. And I'll also change that, this one with curves. And the starting station, I'm going to go zero to say 600. And then this one's going to start at 600 to, say, 1200, okay? I'm just going to go apply here. Now I'm going to go to my targets. So now you can see I've got two regions in here. I want to set my surfaces here, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to select my surface. And I can assign that to all the assemblies that are looking for surfaces if I want to. Now I want to set my offsets. We have an option here to apply the elevation and width. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna select my width target, which is gonna be my left lane. Automatically it goes and sets the profile for the um, left lane. Now I can go in there and check to see if it's the right one or select a different one. I come down here and do the right lane. So I'm gonna go the right lane. And there again, it automatically picks that profile. Instead of you having to get out of the dialog box, go back into the other one for the profile to set the profile target. Also, if your assemblies are the same, you can actually select on this and say assign that. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to assign to the exact same uh, assembly. So there I go, and I'll select this one, and I applied that. So now I've already set all my corridor. Everything's all ready to go. I just go apply and close. And now you can see I've created a corridor. It is targeting the surface. You can see here I've widened it out. It's automatically picked up. This is a brand new drawing, very quick and easy to create a corridor based on that spreadsheet. This concludes this short video on Corridor Spreadsheet Editor. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.